but um, okay, well, uh, like it says, I can't use the word password in the password, but uh, the second or one of the most popular uh, uh, terrible passwords, let me in with a one will work. Um, that's a, a joke that's circulating on the internet and uh, about uh, these uh, uh, restrictions and uh, it circulates on the internet like the blonde is stupid in this case but uh, her password is actually uh, quite secure. I think uh, we had a bit weasel earlier uh, saying uh, that uh, it wouldn't even be cracked uh, by some uh, tools so if you include eight characters and one capital in a password like that, maybe it's good, but uh, the policies would not allow you to do that. Uh, also, well, today maybe you've seen uh, the local Wi-Fi connection, so uh, it has uh, these uh, requirements that uh, have all uh, well, the usual ones. But then I put a long password with all the requirements and they told me, well, it's a bad password because there is no special character in the first eight password uh, in the first eight characters. So what does that mean? Does it mean it's truncated at eight characters, and is it some sort of LM hash or something? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also, once it's taken uh, your new password into account, it says changes will be applied within four hours. So. If uh, while you were having lunch, I looked at all your passwords and you think, oh, maybe I should have changed it before lunch or I should do it now as soon as possible, but well, you're still not secure because you'll have to wait for tonight, maybe. Um, so, again, you, well, you also have uh, the password expiry policies that uh, if you uh, work in, on secure networks, you will be familiar with where you are required maybe once a month or once a two months, etc., to change uh, your password. And uh, at first, when you are asked to choose a password, you think of something very personal, something that you can uh, easily remember, but also that's something uh, that is only for you to know and uh, as a confidence to the system in which you are putting it. Um, but then if you are required, especially if you have to connect it to air gaps network, so you will have um, to choose many passwords uh, and change them regularly, in the end you will most likely, or most people I mean, will run out of uh, personal things to use as a password and they just result to terrible stuff like uh, the mounts or the model of their laptop in the right in front of them which uh, still validates the password policy, but uh, is for the here for everyone to see. Otherwise, if you manage to, uh, by uh, auditing your passwords, etc., if you really, really force them to use a really strong password and they have to uh, remember many of them, then they will just start writing them down. On post-its, like uh, you must have seen everyone. <laughs> so, um, uh, apparently some people are quite inventive, it's not just on the monitors, you can have uh, under the desk and uh, everywhere. And uh, actually, now you can even buy dedicated notebooks for, uh, then, uh, I don't know, it's helping uh, someone who would get to your stuff, but you can put uh, everything, the security question, the website address, etc. So if we get to your drawer or your uh, bag, then uh, it's conveniently organized. Uh, otherwise, if uh, you just put uh, it on the wall, it's uh, obviously for everyone to see, but it also gets captured on television. Here it's uh, ESPN, the American uh, sports channel, with the uh, passwords in the back. But then it's in the doorway, uh, it looks like a doorway, I mean, so maybe you think, okay, they called to that guy and they did a quick interview, so maybe they didn't think to remove that password from the wall. But then, if you do a sitting interview, like here, uh, well, obviously this was organized, they took the chairs, they uh, decided the orientation, they put nice stuff on the computers, why didn't they wipe the whiteboard with the password? Uh, two passwords, actually, in the right. Or uh, even in the military, actually, that's the, if you recognize Prince William from the British royal family, 
uh, posing for a photo shoot. This happened recently, and they published uh, themselves, so the UK government, high resolution pictures with a password on the upper left, which is uh, a password for access to military VPN accessible from the internet. So, thanks. <laughs> And uh, also in the pen testing experience, maybe you saw it uh, yourself, and uh, that's not something you can really put as a screenshot here, but uh, I've seen even worse than the usual way, you just uh, put a live CD and get quick access to the files on the computer and crack the domain admin password, etc. Once I saw all the network admins had uh, created uh, a network folder where they would just uh, write notes, like the password to all the web servers, and even store databases, uh, backups of uh, user credentials. So after like 15 minutes, you have all the passwords from everyone in a large network, and it's not even fun anymore. True story. Um, so of course. Uh, we cannot uh, really say, okay, let's forget about uh, putting special characters and uh, changing passwords regularly, etc. Uh, because uh, then it would be uh, even worse or just as bad. That's uh, just by human nature, in fact, because uh, we, don't, uh, we cannot use uh, our brain yet as reliable storage. It's not Johnny Mnemonic yet. So um, uh, people will. Uh, try to uh, use a password as simple uh, as possible and uh, reuse uh, to the same one everywhere. Also, that's uh, uh, the reason I created my word list uh, in the beginning, the Wikipedia word list. It's because uh, dictionary attacks have been around for a long time. Everyone knows about them, but um, apart from uh, inventive people, uh, it would be mostly done with uh, language dictionaries. And uh, of course, when you are uh, asked to choose a password, you just look around and, uh, for example, here there's a monitor called Crestron or something. I've never seen that uh, thing before, but uh, maybe someone who's asked to choose a password here will uh, think uh, to use that as a password. And uh, it's most likely not in an English dictionary or maybe not in a Norwegian dictionary, etc. So uh, it's a bad password, it's for everyone to see but uh, it cannot really be really detected by a, a simple uh, word list. So, um, so then, uh, yes, that's the idea for creating uh, the Wikipedia word list, because things like that, that are not in language dictionaries, are actually discussed on uh, Wikipedia, or most likely, of course, and not all of them, but many, many of them. So, um, yes, uh, you would need a word list for every possible word ever, which is uh, uh, quite impossible to achieve. Actually, I heard uh, this morning someone mentioned that Google was working on uh, this, uh, I think it was uh, yesterday, uh, Norbert, um, about uh, also n-grams, etc., uh, thanks to the books that they are scanning. But even, uh, maybe I don't know if they are doing that, but by crawling all the websites on the internet, maybe they could uh, put together a much, much better word list. Um, but anyway, I don't have uh, these uh, means, these kind of resources, so uh, I found that uh, just using uh, the Wikimedia website, so that's Wikipedia, Wikibooks, uh, and all of them here, uh, which uh, represents uh, a huge data, uh, was actually very, very good. And, and uh, I've seen, uh, well, uh, uh, with comments I get from everyone using it, apparently, it's uh, great, uh, good stuff. But the problem then is, uh, how do you take words uh, from that? Can you see the problem in the, <laughs> in the Burmese? Or, well, uh, this one's more obvious, uh, I guess uh, everyone knows that uh, in Chinese, every character is more like a word, if I understand correctly, or uh, even though there are some commas here and there, it's not really obvious how you turn that into words, even if you use spaces and punctuation. And uh, that's just one screenshot, but it's actually 
separate uh, Wikimedia sites, the Chinese, classical Chinese, etc. So it's lots and lots of data that actually I don't know how to process, or it maybe it's not even possible to process. Um, other languages uh, that you might have never heard of, but uh, are used by millions of people, uh, so languages like that. Here it looks like you can split based on spaces, but it's not words actually, it's sentences. So, can, do we really want that in a word list? Maybe not. Same thing with Japanese, Korean, and uh, Mao, and Thai. This one's really condensed. If you try to split that uh, based on spaces, you'll end up with very, very long words. So, uh, I uh, put together manually uh, by checking the, uh, by learning about linguistics and uh, the characteristics of uh, all languages. I put together a list of uh, 270 languages um, that actually use separation between words, and the other ones for the moment I left out because, uh, like you can see on the uh, uh, Microsoft themselves, who have people dedicated uh, to that, say it's uh, more like a guessing game. Um, also, uh, compared to the previous word list, where it was uh, very easy to just take the HTML dump and basically do uh, links dash dump, uh, if you know that comment, uh, which gives you basically the text out of a, uh, an HTML page. And now they are providing XML, like uh, well, uh, the uh, as well. And uh, the problem is um, that every tool I've tried try to load the whole document, uh, the whole XML document in memory before just giving me uh, the content that I wanted, which is basically the title and the text. So uh, it's funny to watch uh, them all crash, We're trying uh, desperately to load 42 gigabytes, um, unless you have a really nice computer, but I don't. And uh, so I wrote my own uh, XML pass, and then uh, also you have to convert XML entities which is no big deal, I'm just listing them here because you'll see after for HTML. Um, another huge problem is actually uh, the wiki markup syntax, uh, where if you search for hours on the internet and uh, on Wikipedia and the wiki, uh, media wiki website and uh, discuss uh, with the developers, they tell you, well, basically, if you want accurate information, just read the source code, which is something like uh, 20,000 lines of code. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, the Wikipedia has a, a page with uh, many suggestions for alternative parsers and libraries, so I think, great, but, uh, of course, everyone has a note that, oh, it doesn't work since we changed this and that, and, or oh, doesn't do what I want. So, um, also, another thing that looked uh, easy to do was just, well, let's forget everything about the syntax. Let's just take out everything uh, that uh, is uh, between uh, these uh, bracket braces and so on. Uh, but still, that doesn't really work. And once you have finally, finally managed to deal with the syntax, you find that actually people uh, who modify Wikipedia, uh, or like people who write HTML pages, or if they still do it, then they write incorrect syntax and push it on the internet. So, it's hard to realize also that uh, you've uh, skipped uh, one gigabyte just because someone forgot to close one of the opening tags and uh, your password is just skipping and skipping. Um, well, like I was saying, you have uh, these uh, entities, uh, which uh, you might be familiar if you speak a different language, where uh, in HTML you can use that, it's quite convenient for writing accented uh, letters, but uh, in HTML5 now they have put together more than 2,000 entities. So you are quite happy when you realize you also have to write that <laughs> in order to get words and not uh, cut them uh, with entities in the middle. And uh, they can also, people can just write any Unicode character using a decimal and hexadecimal. And uh, like uh, for the syntax, incorrect syntax, then uh, you have uh, lots of uh, uh, junk that is just there because uh, people forget to put the HTTP colon slash slash or even the slash after the TLD. 
So that's a lot of uh, code uh, just to uh, weed out the junk. Um, and uh, yes, uh, regarding uh, the talks uh, this morning uh, about uh, extracting words, etc., it's uh, much more complicated than than, than just uh, splitting uh, based on the spacing and punctuation. Uh, I think I might have done that for the first word list, which is one of the reasons I'm ashamed of it, because it's, uh, you'll see the content uh, compared to the new one is really terrible. And um, uh, there are stuff I personally had never heard of before, where you can basically include special characters in the middle of your long words as uh, kids for a line break. So, um, uh, of course, if you don't uh, treat that, then you'll end up with breaking words. And uh, then vandalism. Uh, so once you have everything working, so I don't know if trollolo et cetera is a word, or maybe you think, uh, okay, so many hours uh, should be, uh, when, I, when you have uh, many times the same letter, maybe you should uh, ignore it. So here's a question for you. Uh, <laughs> who thinks the first one is junk? Well, you all know it's a trick, or...? Uh, <laughs> okay, well, uh, who thinks uh, any of them here is junk? The same one as the city name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, everyone thinks it's all the correct data. The last one is junk. Yeah, correct. Uh, they are all good, except the last one. So, the first one is actually a movie, a bad movie. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen it, but uh, yeah, just it being French, it's uh, <coughs> bad enough. <laughs> and uh, like the uh, guy over there said, uh, it's uh, actually a city in Wales, and uh, it looks random. So I, I would be interested to see what uh, Marco Chains, etc., Engrams would say about <laughs> so many devil using the name. Um, it looks like it would be even impossible to pronounce, but once you understand that in Welsh the W is actually pronounced U, then it's a lot more easy to pronounce it, and uh, uh, you can actually pronounce it like it suggests this is actually a picture uh, of the train station there, and uh, they have the translation for the visitors underneath. And the third one is uh, the name of a hill in New Zealand. So it's a really, really long word. Maybe you could use that as a crypto passphrase. Uh, an insecure one, but it's uh, quite long and it does belong in the uh, Wikipedia world. Um, so, in terms of... Um, yes. That's it, that's it. <laughs> yes, um, so... It's really not easy to just uh, take out the chunk uh, out of uh, that because uh, this word uh, appears only a couple of times uh, in Wikipedia and uh, like it says, it's, uh, well, uh, that's how I, I think uh, I first started to talk with you. It's because uh, it helped crack a personal colleague passwords and, um, and uh, well, uh, it would have been a pity to omit it from the world list. Uh, so, basically what I did, compared with the previous word list where I included uh, everything, uh, even with single occurrences, uh, this uh, one here includes uh, uh, from two occurrences, so it's still junk that is uh, duplicated between articles, and um, it doesn't include some real words that are in smaller wikis, so it's still not perfect. So anyway, uh, that's a comparison of uh, the previous world one, uh, the previous uh, world list, uh, which was uh, quite large. It was uh, 700 megabytes was uh, decompressed, and uh, if you open it uh, with less or Notepad, you would see it's really full of junk. So um, the, f uh, the new one is much much smaller. Uh, I hope uh, uh, you don't uh, hate me for making it actually an executable. Uh, well, with, for Windows and source code for uh, well, all operating systems. And um, uh, the new stuff is uh, actually, we include alphanumeric characters, so stuff like Blink 182 and uh, 30 rock or uh, numbers, 
um, which are popular uh, names for our bands and the TV series, and are now part of the world list, and they weren't before. And also the quality is much, much better. So now, yeah, since it's an executable, uh, I thought, uh, well, what, what can we do with it uh, that uh, uh, well, uh, mandates the user of uh, actually a program instead of just data? And since uh, many people have been asking me in the previous world list for separate data for uh, different languages, like uh, just a Spanish uh, world list, uh, just a German, etc., then, uh, well, I wanted to find a way to include it in the word list so it's present as a, um, a big file, this dot bit. It's just a, a mask where every bit says, uh, okay, it's uh, in French or it's not in French, and uh, here in Croatian or not in Croatian, etc. So, uh, because that's public information, if you know me uh, just a bit, uh, you will know that uh, I'm half French, I'm half Croatian, I do speak uh, both languages. But I live in the UK, so I have a British keyboard. So it's unlikely that I would use a French word with an accent or a Croatian word. So uh, now you can uh, uh, try to break uh, the password more efficiently by just selecting those languages. Uh, also by selecting my key map, so you don't get all the French letters that are uh, accented or Croatian letters uh, with special characters. And uh, also, um, that was uh, comments I saw in the air track and back track uh, discussions where uh, well, uh, people saw it was uh, lots of junk in my previous work list and they claimed it uh, to um, just keep uh, everything that's usable as a WPA passphrase. So here it's uh, directly an option. You can say, well, you're trying to crack my Wi-Fi wi password, so you just type all that and that will help you. And some measures to give you an idea. Um, so it's really useful to uh, not just do English, of course, because uh, well, if you have to deal with uh, various users or uh, users that are uh, um, open to international and culture, would travel or speak different languages, so that's actually a lot of uh, data you have to uh, uh, account for in the other languages. As you can see, the German Wikipedia is, uh, has more words than the English one. And uh, the French one is the third one uh, in the top. Well, uh, it's uh, almost uh, two times uh, smaller, but uh, still a, a lot of words. And uh, even in Norwegian, that's uh, not a word. Oh, and uh, because it's data from uh, November 2012, then you get uh, passwords. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> So yes, um, well, a pair of things, I, I'm a big fan of Justin Bieber, so uh, now you get uh, these uh, special passwords uh, that uh, are not present in the previous world list. Um, so if, uh, we have, uh, well, I'm sorry, I haven't had time to put it on a proper uh, web host, um, hosting service, and uh, i do that uh, later, but if you want it now, you can basically copy that uh, uh, extension uh, on the link, and uh, well, uh, we'll put uh, links later if you want. So anyway, uh, th so that's a lot of data, but does that really, really help? Because uh, it still doesn't have uh, many words that. Uh, Maybe a new brand will come out uh, tomorrow, become popular, a new TV series that people would use as their password, which is a bad idea, but we still cannot detect it until I renew my word list. And so far I've been doing it once every four years, which is not so great. Um, and uh, even uh, if uh, you, with auditing, you find that you force people uh, to use secure passwords, then you still have the problems of uh, uh, people who will uh, type it uh, instead of their username, then maybe a colleague uh, looking over the shoulder can see the password. Um, you also have it, it it's quite common uh, actually, um, in shared history, so not just like uh, SQL history uh, or really the common history with a parameter, but uh, people who would type looking at their keyboard, uh, they type uh, sudo some comment, but they don't realize there was a syntax error or some, uh, something that's uh, just returned 
and didn't ask for the password, and then they tap the password, press enter, and now it's stored in the bash history or whatever shell that has a history. Uh, what's even more fun is that uh, uh, webmasters, for example, so sometimes have their home directory as the uh, website root directory. So if you just go to that website and do slash dot bash underscore history, you might uh, download uh, the guy's uh, history uh, from his shell, and uh, if he's a uh, MC, then you'll get his passwords, uh, and uh, sometimes root passwords to many servers, and uh, so even if it's secure, uh, it's uh, lost uh, this way. Uh, there's also the classical uh, problem of uh, just uh, using password as a parameter, and then it appears in the list of processes for other users on the system to see. Um, also, people who let uh, machines automatically remember passwords on a public computer or somebody else's computer. You, uh, I don't know if it's still the case, but uh, some web browsers uh, at least uh, used to, once you have told them to say, okay, yes, please remember passwords for me, then they will never tell you they are remembering passwords. So if someone is using such a system, they think maybe they just typed it once, but it was actually stored in the system. Um, and uh, also well, uh, all the problems of uh, distributing passwords in clear text by email or uh, people talking on the phone and uh, yes, uh, having to give the password over the phone or uh, in a conversation and other people here. And also, uh, that's actually that was uh, something that was pointed out uh, by a good friend, uh, that um, uh, even if you have a, a super secure passwords, uh, you might uh, just uh, end up uh, ruining it with uh, having a terrible uh, security question. Uh, so you had uh, big high profile cases like Sarah Pauling that had uh, her email account uh, hacked into just because uh, she used uh, apparently her dog uh, as the security question and that was uh, data available on Facebook. So. When you uh, really want uh, people to avoid that, you actually have to uh, ask them to, to make sure that uh, okay, uh, there are no persons around or cameras or microphones, and uh, especially if you go into uh, more paranoid uh, considerations, lasers or antennas for tempest uh, compromising signals. Uh, of course, you have to look for hardware keyloggers or software keyloggers, and. Uh, insecure uh, communications, and also, uh, well, uh, like uh, Bear was discussing uh, uh, on his Twitter, uh, sometimes just the fingerprints or the smudges uh, on the uh, pin pads, for example, uh, uh, make uh, the passport uh, obvious. Um, so, I realize, of course, it's not the problem of everyone, but maybe we can all agree that uh, it doesn't require you to change anything, basically, uh, if, uh, it's not, uh, if you don't really have to worry about such uh, threats. But maybe it would be a good idea to start calling uh, password authentication more of a convenience to make it easy for people who don't really uh, have to care about security, uh, than uh, to continue calling it a security feature, because um, well, now you meet every now and then people who think, okay, I have a Windows password, uh, that's uh, perfect, uh, I'm super safe. So, uh, before I go into more uh, considerations about uh, further from the subject, do you have uh, questions maybe on uh, this part so far? <laughs> okay. Um, so, of course, apart from uh, uh, what? Sorry. Um, I started looking into uh, also experimenting uh, with the uh, mark of uh, chains, etc. Just uh, quickly with the Wikipedia world list. And uh, recently, with the U.S. elections, you could uh, think that uh, uh, people who are highly partisan they would have uh, Barack Obama as my hero or uh, Barack Obama for president as their password. But if you look at uh, the top four, top five. Uh, Oh, uh, uh, likelihoods of uh, continuing from one world to the other. Uh, I did also two crimes, third crimes, etc. But uh, uh, it's impossible to just fit on a slide. So you can see here that uh, it's not really useful, in fact. 
Um, same thing with uh, Mitt Romney. Actually, it's funny because Mitt Romney, Mitt leads you to Norwegian uh, data, which are some songs apparently in Norwegian, Mitt Hirte, uh, things like that. So, uh, um, so quickly, uh, um, what uh, alternatives do we have to password authentication? And uh, the thing is, maybe as long as we consider uh, passwords usable, there is no real effort put uh, into uh, changing to other methods. So we get uh, not really usable alternatives as face recognition, which is uh, here marketed by uh, Lenovo. And uh, it's really funny when you just take a picture of your friend's face and hold it in front of his computer and it unlocks his session. So you can see it's really useless. Um, also swiping on the password, same thing with the smudges, etc. It's not really good. And uh, otherwise, in general, basically, uh, it's a much longer discussion, but if you want to apply things like trusted computing from end to end, and uh, make sure that uh, well, uh, the system uh, uh, asking for the password is really the system system you think and uh, for the system to know that uh, you are really the one giving the password and no one else then uh, well, hopefully we can find something less intrusive than, uh, than uh, these interfaces so that's my talk and I uh, hope uh, you have uh, enjoyed it so far any questions? yes? Well, this is more for everyone here everyone does know we have like 325 uh, microphones. I don't know, that's right. And a camera. <laughs> I thought That's you were making it up, but you found the link to the actual product that fits that thing. So, you yeah. may want to reset passwords. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good point. Yeah, I hadn't looked into it, but anyway, thanks. It's for cheating. <laughs> Questions for Sebastian? What do you consider a safe place to save your password? If you have to write it down on something. Uh, Mobile applications or... Well, I, I wouldn't trust anything else than myself and, uh, and still uh, uh, it can be... You're not 100% sure, maybe people can get you drunk etc. and reveal your password. So, um, so far I consider uh, remembering it the uh, least uh, insecure option, but uh, now I don't write passwords down ever. Uh, what is the typical time to parse the Wikipedia list and, and crunch it down? Is that a task that runs in hours or days or...? Um, it takes um, a week and uh, basically to do the uh, 270 languages on a quad-core machine. So uh, I think uh, it's not really CPU power that's slowing it down, it's just a uh, disk because uh, it's uh, mega, uh, well, dozens and dozens of uh, gigabytes, um, which if you don't want to uh, store uh, waste storage on, uh, then uh, you would keep it uh, uh, compressed. And uh, then maybe the comp decompression is also using some time. I, I can also add to that. I actually been nagging him quite a bit to make this new list. I told him that the last list was really useful, and I told him I want you to do it again. And by that I mean I mean I actually mean do it again. So mm -hmm. uh, so now I'm really really happy. So now the question is, are you going to donate a machine to do it on a weekly basis? We <laughs> <laughs> keep going to university. More questions. Someone has another one. More questions. Who's going to solve the never-ending quote problem? Uh, sorry. The never-ending quote problem. Like, you said that uh, invalid syntax and somebody forgets to close some quote or something and just passes to the end of the file. Uh, there is no absolute solution, it's just, uh, um, how to say, you do guesses on the new data coming after that, and uh, if it looks... Automatic, or is it something that you realize it is wrong and you correct it? Uh, uh, no, I, I can't correct it manually, because uh, if it happens, either you, uh, like I said, skip uh, lots and lots of data, so in, uh, with the end result you wouldn't realize some data is missing, uh, unless you know 
by heart every word that is in Wikipedia and then uh, look for it in the ending of word list, but uh, of course uh, that doesn't happen. Or, um, yes, it, it, uh, because the words are cut uh, on boundaries, uh, like uh, the ones that I used for the Wikipedia syntax, uh, you will just end up with uh, strange words and uh, it's, uh, no, it's too late to correct it. Uh, this is a list of all the words in Wikipedia, right? Yes. Do you also do statistics of how often they are used? Um, I have that data, yes. Uh, I haven't included it in the word list uh, because then it's too big uh, of an archive, but uh, maybe yes, uh, if you really need it for research, we can uh, discuss that, yeah. Okay. More questions? Okay, well, Sebastian will also be with us uh, furthermore in today and for the rest of the conference. So by that, I would just like to say thank you, Sebastian, and uh, the, uh, the world list will be available very, very soon. And you also have the link up there, and of course, both the video recordings and also the presentations will be made available online as soon as we can possibly get them up. So, thank you. Thank you.